Oh. Well, I'm Hardware Thrift, and I just got this package in the mail. So we're gonna crack it open and see what's inside. All right. So I got this off of eBay, and the packaging isn't the greatest, but as long as what in it works, we'll be perfectly fine. So we're just gonna try not to cut ourselves. All right. Oh, put a lot of things on this. that my friends and I were looking at getting an Xbox One for our living room as like a streaming or any other kind of device. And uh, instead we decided to opt out of the Xbox One idea and go and get a cheap computer so that we can play some of the newer titles but we don't have to worry about shelling out money for games we already have on our Steam account. Wow, this is packaged. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out of the box and put it back up on the table. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh yeah, look at that bubble wrapping. We're gonna, let's see, what is our best, best approach here? Got a slight piece of bubble wrap. Huh? Good. Nope. So yeah, we decided to pick up a cheap computer. Oh, here it comes. You will be seeing in a moment. Behind all the sound of bubble wrap. Oh, it's got us in the great. So this, my friends, is a Dell Optiplex 790 desktop computer. Uh, it's more of a workstation. Uh, early 2012, I think it came out around. Uh, the reason I got this is on eBay right now, you can pick one of these up from anywhere from $100 to $150. And uh, it's got some pretty great specs in it for that price range. And you can actually turn it into a pretty decent gaming computer by adding in a GPU. Uh, so what this has in it is an i5-2400. That's one of the Sandy Bridge architectures. Uh, two 3.2 gigahertz CPU in there. Uh, it came with a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which is running Windows 10 on it, which is also great because then you don't have to pay for the operating system. And on top of that, you can see it has four DIMM slots in there, and that is filled with eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. And that's one of the hard things to, hard things to find when you're looking at these used and pre-used computers is anything more than four gigabytes of RAM without throwing an extra 30 or $40 on there, which is what you would expect for the RAM prices. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take it and I'm going to upgrade some of the parts in it and I'm going to turn it into a budget gaming streaming build for uh, my living room. Uh, one of the things I'm probably going to upgrade is I want to upgrade the power supply. These are only usually 265 to 280 watts. Uh, yeah, this one's 240, so this is definitely going to need to be upgraded if we're going to be throwing a GPU in there. Uh, one of the other things I'm going to look at upgrading is the GPU, obviously. We're going to put a 1050 GTX in there. And we're probably going to throw an extra hard drive in there just for extra storage space because I don't know if we'll be able to fit all the games we want in here with just the 500 gigabyte. Um, other than that, I will be coming out with a video showing all those upgrades. I'll be going through all those upgrades and how to upgrade them. One of the other things I might be looking at is getting a new case for this because if you can see here, I don't know if you can see it on camera, 
there's a big old dent right there. The whole chassis is actually bent in from that. Plus our uh, our slots back here are a little bent up too. So I might be getting a new case and just transferring everything over and you'll also get to see that in the next video that will be coming out when I upgrade this and hopefully run some benchmarks to see where it games at 1080p. All right, so until next time guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Uh, leave a like and comment, don't forget to subscribe and you'll be seeing the next part of this in a couple days.